All right, here is the long-awaited mini warding cliff info. The reason why I didn't do it right immediately is because this guy was giving me crap. Uh, long story short, he's in trouble with YouTube now, so I can now show you this. It wasn't anything legal, he was just doing weird crap. But uh, anyway, let's first start off and show you what I did to this coil. This coil is a VTC slightly modified VTC and I will show you um, what this green coil is in a second. Alright, first things first, the, uh, the normal uh, secondary coil, this is about um, for mine I use like 32 gauge wire um, and you know, it's this really, really tiny magnet wire. I don't know exactly how big it is. But it's about 800 and some turns. And right up here, this is called the choker coil. This is actually what Nikola Tesla invented for Wardenclyffe for um, wireless power. What this basically is, it's about 21 gauge magnet wire. And this is actually floral wire, but same basic thing. And it's about, uh, I would say, 200 some turns. And basically, what that does is what I like to title this coil is is the choker coil. What it basically does is increase the amperage by taking the um, electrical energy from this coil and basically squeezing up through here. I found it is um, almost. Um, essential for wireless power transmitting because if you do not have this coil you lose a lot of amperage in a short period of time and uh, basically um, everything else this is a very simple setup um, the uh, top load is just a foam ring that was tin foiled and uh, aluminum taped and basically you can't have anything a little breakout points you got to have a pretty fairly a smooth surface to uh, um, transmit the energy and um, this is all stated in Nikola Tesla's stuff no matter how encoded he actually wrote it and that's one thing you discover with Nikola Tesla's patents he d did tend to encode some of the obvious stuff so you would think it's one thing when it's actually the other um, this is basically it you know um, you might ask me, uh, well, YouTube guy, how do I find the diam diameter of this coil? Is there any correlation between this coil and this coil mathematically? Well, basically what I did is this is a two-inch diameter coil, uh, coil form right here. I ba basically half that. It's, this is a one diameter around coil form. And I have experimented with that, and I find that if you half the coil diameter and uh, use that for um, the coil form on this, then it works. Um, things to also try is try to make this coil form longer. I just kind of ran out of wire. So um, you can make this... Um, definitely wider, I mean definitely taller I mean and see if you uh, actually increase the um, uh, amperage and wireless power output of this coil because if you actually look at Wardenclyffe's original design he had in the drawing a um, very very small but you gotta think of the scale of Wardenclyffe um, secondary, yeah, secondary coil and a very incredibly large choker coil. Remember this is a choker coil. And it looked like he had, like mine, um, I got this from Tesla's patent, um, much larger winding wire than this. And like I can say too, you can experiment with this as well. I just used 21 magnet wire and this is yet again um, 30 um, magnet wire. And um, you could experiment with that. Maybe bigger is better. I don't know. But um, the system works, as you could see in the other video that people were yelling at me because I didn't have 
anything that showed me what to do. And that guy was making that video all upset, sending me emails and shit like that. And, um, alright, this is pretty much sums up this. And, you know, like I said, I would also recommend maybe trying it on a different coil assembly. Like I said, this is a vacuum tube Tesla coil, so, um, there's my little tubes in there. And, um, you can try it on a uh, more traditional Tesla coil. Maybe that would work. Um, I would really like to see it on a, uh, you know, a um, more digital Tesla coil. Maybe, you know, something of that nature. And let's also get down to, uh, right now, that guy. Now this, in the video, looked like some kind of super complex box. It's really not. In this setup, this is basically the same diameter. This is a two-inch diameter. This is the same magnet wire, except, like I said, that was 800 uh, turns. This is about, I'm, I don't know, maybe 600. I'm, I don't know. Remember, this wire is very tiny. You can see it. it's incredibly tiny effing wire. And uh, I will just show you right over here. I'm hoping this shows up on the camera. Just knock something on the floor. All right, this is actually the schematic of the actual coil. Like I said, this is a two inch diameter. That's the coil. And right up here, this is actually a thing that I have messed with. That's this. This is my capacitance capacitor antenna. Basically, what this really is, is just two steel fan guards. Um, this one here is connected to this wire. This one is not. It builds uh, kind of a strange capacitance that I've noticed helps. And this is its symbol. All right. Now, everything else is pretty straightforward. The output of this coil... Now, you notice, too, I don't actually have any secondary coil or anything like that on this. Basically this is just the receiving coil, the capacitor up here, and then the output of this coil goes down into 1 PF caps that are 10K each. And I have about three of these and then it goes to the load. I ran the load in series. You can get fancy with this. I, I just did it this way and then from there once the it runs through the load it runs back to the tesla coil ground this is the actual ground right there that i use and the optional thing is you can see in the video that you can build a capacitor bank that you can kind of use as earth ground that i just use um microwave caps in series that's what i did now you might be wondering what is the purpose of these caps well these caps are um what i found with this system and this is also the reason why uh, wardenclyffe was huge is because the bigger the coil is the lower the frequency it has this is not a big coil this is not wardenclyffe this is not the size of um you know the eiffel tower or whatever whatever the height of wardenclyffe was so i had to adapt now, the frequency being absorbed into this is a very high frequency, and I realized that the system wasn't working that well because of the actual high frequency of it. And so I use these capacitors that this is the ground, this is the positive, we know that. And you know, this comes from the uh, coil, and it goes through the load, that's the load, right there, load, and then comes back. And what I realized is the system wasn't working because all of our electronic components are basically built that you know if they're AC they're built on running on 60 Hertz and so I had to bring down the frequency to make stuff work better and I actually found out once doing so it works okay now I don't have the frequency exactly pinned because I don't have the technology here and you know to actually do so and turn down the frequency so I could run something like a motor now this does actually crank a lot of amperage. You'd be surprised. I've been nailed by it. I read about on this system. Now, to improve this system, you can also make this coil bigger. 
It would also change the capacitance and change things around, but you can make the coil bigger. Or maybe you can make multiple of these coils. I don't know. You could try that as well. But it would also would change the um, capacitance and the relationship between this coil and that coil. That is kind of hard to get at because uh, you have to tune this coil to that coil and it's kind of hard but um yeah definitely you can try to put more capacitors on it i just had these one pf little guys laying around and it was leaps and bounds but when i added uh you know four and five of these the system started to um fail more so um I stuck with three and it, it works pretty well. Now, the only thing I can say to you is this system still has a little bit of ghosts in it. It, you know, it really um, has a little bit of, you know, not paranormal things, you're not going to see a ghost, whatever, but it, it has a little bit of unpredictability in it. And I was also thinking maybe uh, using a by fear coil to um, act as a little bit of a buffer and a storage of energy that might work but the reason why I haven't really messed with this is number one it puts a massive load on the tubes and I don't want them burning out and number three is basically because I don't have enough stuff to do it. I, I'm kind of in between stuff and I'm um, I need some more moolah to help me with this. But um, this is basically it. You can uh, screenshot that. Here's the antenna. Here's the coil. There's about 300 turns on a 2 inch diameter coil. Output. Positive output. And ground anyway. Positive ground output goes into the load but before that there's the capacitors that are 1pf and then once it goes into the load it comes back out here and returns back to the secondary coil ground and that's pretty much it you definitely need to have one ground wire or a um or you're going to ground this coil to the ground and you just need something to connect you to it you know it's basically you just need a ground carrier back you just need them to basically talk and that's pretty much it and uh, the system works quite well I mean I, I can show you actually inside of this to show you how simplistic it actually is and I actually found out you add more crap to it I tried to add different things to it and discovered that it really doesn't work any more than what Tesla said it did and you can see some of the connections I tried to do and different things and I mean that's pretty much it it just goes right in there it's a straightforward system you just gotta dig through Tesla's patents and figure out his madness to actually understand it and that's pretty much it I hope this helps you guys out you guys can recreate it if you want to go right ahead it definitely does work. Maybe you guys could figure it out a little bit better than I can. But um, here you go. Here's the video. I hope you like it. And um, peace out, YouTube.